guys welcome back to swish life garage and i'm back with it here with the small block ford with the 302 heads i got them back from the machine shop if you guys saw the last video i took them to the machine shop so they could go ahead and get milled down make sure they're flat even and also the valve and valve seat had some pits on them so i went ahead and let them go ahead and take care of that you know take care of the uh, valves grinding them down and uh, cutting a new surface onto them. This head right here is the left head and this is actually a different head than the one you guys had seen. Here's the original head that I had taken off of the Bronco and this one actually had a crack in it so it had a crack in it it's actually right here if you guys can see it's going into the other valve right there in between and so it had a crack in it there's nothing can do about it so this head is basically trash out of all the years of owning the bronco the whole time it's had a cracked head and we have not known if you guys remember i said that upon startup it would blow out some blue smoke so possibly this right here was allowing some oil to seep right into the piston and causing the blue smoke now i'm not sure exactly but it's a possibility right there so since this one was cracked i did have to buy another head i bought a set so basically both heads left and right for actually 50 bucks on Facebook Marketplace and which was a steal. I had to go and pick it up. The left head is going to be a new head. If you guys remember I said that it looks like one of the heads have been taken off and one of them has not. And so the one that looks like it has not been taken off was the one that had a crack on it. So the machine shop they did the valve make sure the surfaces are sealing and as well they put the valve seals on them. So they did all of them and cleaned up the head very nicely. Now on the right head here, I did take out a, a valve so you guys can see. See the surface on that valve. You can still see the blue dye on there that they put on them to make sure they're sealing correctly. And the surface on that valve seat. If you guys remember the broken bolt that was in there. They were able to get it out, had to put a threaded insert in here to go ahead and fix that. So now that is out of there. And that was the whole reason why I took off the head. So if that would have happened, I probably would never have known that there was a crack in the other head. So that right there took care of quite a few issues that was happening with the Bronco there. Some that we knew about and definitely one that we did not know about. So now that the head has been finished up, the head has been cleaned up by the machine shop. But there's still like some rust on the outside here in the pits and it's just really got to be cleaned up uh, before painting it. So that's what I'm going to be doing next is painting the heads. What I'm going to do right now is kind of tape off the surfaces that aren't going to be painted so I can protect them from any rust or anything uh, going in the valleys and stuff. I'm still going to have to take everything apart and clean it on up but just going to try to do the best that I can as far as when I'm sanding and wire wheeling the head you know just don't want anything to just forcibly get blown in there. So this head is all taped up and ready for me to start sanding on but another thing I want to do is tap this port right here. This is where the smog pump would have connected onto the back of the head. So the tap I have right here is a 5 8 11 Here it is right here. So just going to go on in there 
clean up some of the carbon because if you don't you'll probably just end up breaking your plug trying to just screw it on in there. Go all the way down and just come on up. Just cleaning out those threads, cleaning up that carbon, any sort of rust. So those Thermactor plugs would just fit right on in. But I want to do it right now just because I know there's dirt and stuff just coming out of there, carbon. So whenever I clean up the head, just get that carbon on out. Just going to do it one more time. Now, take a look at those threads. They look clean, nice. Plug shouldn't have any issue going on in there. I have the left head out here. Let's take a look at those threads for the smog pump where it connects on the head. You can see a lot of carbon on there. It's going to be doing the same thing. Going to be tapping that hole and taping everything on up. On the other head, I also did just throw some paper towels in the port for the exhaust on there. They kind of need to be uh, sanded or just uh, wire wheeled. So let me get at it. So now that everything is taped up and I was able to tap the port for the smog pump, now what I'm going to try to do is get some of this rust just build up off of the head. I'm going to try to use a wire wheel right here. I'm not sure if this will be strong enough. If not, I'll go ahead and have to bring the angle grinder out with the wire wheel.
Well, I did a lot of wire wheeling, did a lot of hand sanding, a lot of cleaning, and then I'm still going to clean it one more with the blue towels and some alcohol. Make sure all the grease and grime is off. Now on these heads, on these cast heads, you know, they have a lot of like pores and pits on them. So I'm not exactly able to get down to everything, get all the little rust and everything off. So I am going to be using a rust converter just to make sure if there's any rust, it's going to convert it. Not going to have any issues in the future. And after that, I'm going to be painting it and it should look pretty good, man. But I taped everything up, taped off the parts that aren't going to be painted for the, for the header on there. So everything is pretty clean as you could get it, man. I know I kind of just sped through it, everything, but trust me, I spent a lot of time on this. So if you guys are doing this yourself, you're going to make sure all the prep work is done correctly. And don't try to skimp on it because this is where it's going to make it shine wipe down the heads two extra times just to make sure that the heads are as clean as they could be and right now I believe they are ready for paint so like I said I'm gonna be using a rust converter and one thing I do want to mention if you are using a wire wheel and you think that you don't have to sand definitely you're gonna to want to still go over the whole thing with hand sanding because the wire wheel just sometimes polishes the rust so whenever you go through a sanding you're still gonna notice like orange dirt come off orange dust and that's because there's still rust on there so it might still look like sort of this color like the darker gray color but again it's just polishing up that rust about to spray this rust converter here's the one i'm using it's the first time ever using this brand but heard quite a few good things about it is kbs coatings just a rust converter rust killer it says no need to sandblast scrape or grind but again you know of course here i do have some clean metal mostly clean metal but just in case there's some rust in the pits and stuff going to try to make sure and prevent that and prevent the paint from flaking so gonna be giving it uh, one good coat maybe two uh, we'll see how how good this lays down put one good coat on the head and honestly I think that's all it needs I was really thinking that the rust converter was gonna be a clear clear sort of uh, paint but it turns out to be like a flat black so I'm able to see exactly where I have sprayed before how much coverage it got instructions say to give it about 24 hours before I top coat it so I am gonna let it just dry for the meantime today and then tomorrow we'll go ahead and finish it off with the top coat but I mean you see how good that covers man there was some paint that got on this cap or this plug here I just got some alcohol and a towel and just cleaned it off just so it kind of keeps its like original look without any sort of overspray on there I trust that this rust converter is gonna get any sort of rust that I was unable to get there was some rust in the corners here I'm just not able to get all the way in there so and so it should be uh, converting it and it shouldn't pop up in the in the future and just go ahead and let this dry and then we'll get on to the top coating so it is the next day the paint hasn't been on there or the rust converter has been on there a full 24 hours it has dried I cleaned the heads off of any little dirt and dust they might have collected overnight now it's ready for that top coat the top coat I'm going to be using is from the same brand KBS coatings motor coater this is the gloss black and that's the um, color I'm going with and so I've heard some good things on this I haven't used it myself this is going to be the first time apparently this has a lot of dur durability to it so we're going to see how it lasts on here now I just have a trash brush here you know very cheap that I'm going to use on this just going to put one good coat the paint is self leveling so shouldn't be getting any sort of streaks on there from the brush so it should be pretty 
pretty straightforward, man. Don't have to pre-mix it with anything, anything like that. Uh, any hardeners or thinners. So, like I said, just going to be shaking this on up. Let's see how it does, man. Here it is all finished up. See how wet that looks, man. The paint is thick. I'm not sure if I already mentioned, this is acrylic enamel. So if you guys ever dealt with enamels, you guys know that the paint is pretty thick when dealing with it. I'm gonna be giving the heads about 48 hours to fully cure. And with enamels and stuff, sometimes it's a little dry, but it's still sticky, so want to make sure that the paint is not sticky before handling it it was a little bit hard to see with the flat black rust converter and putting on the gloss black paint so I did have to pull out a light to try to make sure I got every little corner and everything like that I believe everything is all finished up and so like I said just going to be giving it some dry time now so there it is right there man KBS coatings motor coder hopefully this thing lasts and doesn't flake or anything like that i have pretty good hopes for it hopefully for you guys watching this kind of helps you out on choosing some of the paint i was gonna go with the eastwood paint but i heard a lot of people if they get coolant on the paint it starts to turn white and just kind of messes everything up so that's the reason why i went with kbs coatings Took off the masking tape here for the exhaust and for the valves. Just take a look at the paint. Everything looks nice. It's only been about 24 hours. So still going to let it fully dry. But as of now it can be handled. Here they are out in the sunlight. These came out real nice man. So one last thing I want to do for this video is to plug up the port for the smog pump and here I have some Thermactor plugs as you can see it's just like the OEM one basically just like that and I already put a tap in there to take out any carbon right now I just need to go ahead and plug these on up since they're not going to be used basically if you have a wide screwdriver you can go ahead and get it on in there once you use the tap and then put this on in it's going to easily just go in there but of course you don't ever want this to back out of the head so i'm going to go ahead and use some blue loctite i have here also another way to get it in is if you have a bolt that fits on in there 
it does have some threads you can find a bolt and just drive it on in there but I don't feel like it's really necessary for me to go find a bolt I just easily grab the screwdriver pretty wide one it just fits right on in there so I'll be able to just get it on as tight as I can with a screwdriver There it is guys, got the heads painted up, put the Thermactor plug on in there, and honestly just painting them, sanding them down, doing all that, took quite a bit of work. That's going to be the end of this video as far as for the update, getting this Bronco done. There's a lot of work already put in, but a lot more to do. But I'm going to be having to catch you on the next video man, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, like this video, comment if you have any questions. So I'm gonna catch you on the next one, player.